Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I have some articles and information to go over with you. It is, um, you know, it's not positive stuff. So I'm not doing any of this, like always, to, you know, invoke any fear or traumatize anyone or anything like that. I will always bring attention to, and this is in the, this is new stuff. I mean, this isn't, you know, down a rabbit hole somewhere where we haven't seen it, but they will present it and paint it the way they want it to look. And they use, they use, um, fear. And I've gone over things before that I just recently said, uh, when I talked about the one of 11 illnesses that, you know, bug man was afraid may come out. And I said, are they going to do that and say it's those to make a cover up for these type of things and what's happening? Okay. So keep all that in the back of your mind. But so there's things going on with infants and children. This one just, and yes, I'm angry about this because I just, this is so evil. I can't even, but it's a, um, it's called par echo virus which there are a couple types of those and I'll go through what you know this one is and they are a type of um enteroviruses okay which is related it's not related it's it's close into how it affects in the type of symptoms of rona okay so the CDC is warning and saying that there are in several states infants and young children they are falling sick with a illness that is causing fever, delirium, seizures, um, sepsis, rash, blurred vision, trouble walking, headaches, confusion, altered mental um, status, and passing. So they are seeing this. This is their words, okay? They are seeing this deadly illness in age range, six months to five years around kindergarten and younger. Do you see the age range? What started in June for that? I don't know. Hear me out. So the youngest, there has been a young, one that was younger, which was three months. And I, I should please show respect for that family because no matter what, you know, I'm not going to go into the details of that, but you can search around. My thing is about any of them, whether the child herself had this or if the mother received this while carrying them, okay? And there's a lot of dots that connect with all of that. And I said, well, they say, oh, we're seeing this said illness for cover-up things, okay? So anyways, all of those kids that have been um, positive for this um, par echo virus, okay? They are seeing, because they're doing more, you know, testing and stuff on them. Their spinal fluid and their blood draws from all the infected children is showing they have little, very low, or no infection-fighting white blood cells. Now, let me explain something. Yes, children have fragile and immature immune system. That's why we're protective over, you know, babies. We don't expose them to heavy stuff because their immune system is, we haven't been, you know, exposed to different things where they build up an immune system. That is not the same as they have no or very, very low white blood cells. That is not the same. So don't confuse that or you know, think, oh, well, that's because they're babies. Yes, they, yes, babies have white blood cells. You, you're born with that. So because of that, they're saying they're seeing all these children that have that several states, which they won't list the, all the states, or I could not find them, is that they also, all these kids also have um, leukopenia or neutropenia. What leukopenia is a type of neutropenia, which means they have no or very, very little, like, you know, below the threshold of what they should have age appropriate white blood cells. So they have no white blood cells to fight anything. What, what have I been saying, whether it was the mother or a child or any adult that received this, what was happening to their immune system? So 
Okay. So anyways, all the te all that tested positive for this illness were type PEV-A3, which I just call that type 3. Type 3 is the worst case with that the most severe. Some of these words I, I'm not going to be able to say because you know how you know how it is. So they, you know, they are saying that, oh, they also, and they, you know, let out and said, there is no, this is all in quotations except for what I have to code, all right? There is no known treatment for par echo virus. Older children and adults are, seem to have mild or no symptoms. But the, see, this is a quote, but the CDC message to the parents is, don't panic. This is not a new virus. But usually very rare. We are we are seeing more than usual, but there is no treatment or jab for that illness. I'm just that just makes me sick. I you know I don't know. Yes, I've said even with the Rona, what's going on? I said yes. There's illnesses. There are, there are different things that we are exposed to, and that's just what it is like when everything was counted as Rona, but it's like, wait a minute, we still have other colds and viruses and regular flu and everything like that. So they're playing both sides of the fence with this. Okay. Let me go over some other stuff. So in this thing, you know, we know it's a sharp protein prions. Okay. Those, when that you get those, those continually accumulate in your body forever how how that works so the findings are that and where they're you know different labs when they're testing people for different things there's a very high concentration of that they're finding a lot of these are who have passed in their study and all that okay very high concentration in the spleen the liver bone marrow adrenal glands and the ovaries even when mothers receive them when they're carrying, okay? And they said that their studies have shown that they knew this before they started administering this in this small testing that they did. They already knew this, but we, like we said, we, they knew what they were doing. This was for a totally different agenda. This has nothing to do with an illness. Um, just That is my opinion. I'll say that. You do what you want with the information. So anyways, they said that... Um, you know, the sharp protein is a pathogenic protein, which, you know, that is, that's extremely toxic. I mean, that's, that's known. So, um, they said that, that this is people who are on the other side trying to call things out. I should say as they, but I can't say a whole lot that they have had more injuries and passing from this record numbers over from the actual illness. Again, most of us knew that. All lab animals that were injected for the testing all developed cardiovascular problems, the sharp protein in every single one of the testing tested animals across the brain barrier. Now, remember the swabs, and I talked about that in previous videos. I have a couple times where they would test when they were first doing those swabs is an area in the medical field as when I was in, you know, an RN of they don't run tests back there. Flu, anything else, that is not where they get that from. And if it was, again, I've said it before, if it was so contagious, why would they have to go there? Why are they messing back there? Okay. And I, you know, that's a area you don't, in medicine, you don't, you don't mess with that. So they're seeing, they're saying mass passings, spontaneous, um, I don't know if I can say this. Mothers carrying, spontaneously losing those. And they're saying that those who make it, as far as in utero, those who make that, pass that, because the record number of losing them is extremely high. I'll say that. They're saying that those are born with damaged ovaries from utero. My thing is, it is absolutely doing the job they created it to do. All of this, it is doing what they absolutely made this to do. Now, I will say Columbia University, you can look this up. They have been doing a count and calling it out. 
that more than 10 times over what the CDCs are saying are deaths from this. It's they, the Columbia University thing. It said it's well over half a million passings from this, not injuries, not any other illness that are from directly related to that. And you can look that up. You're going to have to Google some of it because they won't let me attach anything. So going back again, you remember how I talked about they were making, you know, a new one that they slid on and don't have a test because they said they were just tweaking it a little bit so it will cover different variants. Okay, you remember I talked about that a little bit. So this new one um, that they're doing now or bringing out to be, oh, you got to get this extra, you know, what, at number four or five, what are we on? They just did, you know, they just did minor changes. It was automatically FDA approved. They didn't have to go through anything. And it shows it is immune imprinting. I, they may take me for that. I don't know. You know where to find them if they take these down. But we'll do some research on what that is, okay? But this is something that occurs when exposed to certain proteins or other biological structures that penetrate host cells in us when you get them. But so like if we usually would get sick, again, this goes back to how our immune system builds. If we get sick with something, our body kind of makes a, a file, if you will, and then the next time we're exposed to that, it automatically says, oh, okay, I know how to go ahead and take care of this and do it because it, it remembers that particular pathogen and creates an antibody production to take care of. That's how our immune systems work. That's why babies are immature because they haven't been exposed yet. That is not the same thing as not having any white blood cells and no immune fighting stuff, okay? But um, so they, they're they saying that people are more likely, of course, to pass from this than the actual illness itself. And I had said this. I had said this before. And the reason is because no, no immune system, no white blood cells. Your body doesn't know, hey, I need to send stuff. I had talked a while before. I have to be very careful about this one. Um, there's a certain doctor that talks in depth about this and it's a y-shaped protein that was create that what it does is attack it like if you get exposed to something your body's trying to send white um blood cells that y protein job just is to go kill the white blood cells what is that aids on steroids i have said that and i've said that before so you know they're just doing this big concentrate on one particular illness but they're not addressing that you know they've done that we can't fight any other we i say we i haven't had it but the you know the population you're not gonna be able to fight anything else and i'm you know get your cork board out and start correct, connecting the strings i say this all the time yes things happen everything isn't some you know conspiracy theory but the all of these are lining up and the timing of the dates and when they say these things i again you know make it more believable do a better job at it they they say all these things and it's like all of a sudden they just did this for that particular age group six months to five years old and then all of a sudden this horrific illness that is so severe and everything is just oh we're only we're seeing it in this age group yes that 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 virus has been around it's extremely rare. And there are other types of it that are very mild is usually what they see. Also, they're seeing an abundance amount in that age group, and it's the most severe type of that one. Give me a break. So I want to bring that to attention because I will call it out because I, I will always, I will, as long as I have a voice, I will call these things um, out because that's how I am. And it infuriates me and it breaks my heart. Um, because of the innocents um, that have no choice, I will speak for them. So I want to bring that to you. Um, I hope everyone has a great rest of your Sunday. Everyone stay well. God bless. And I will see you next time.